Hi friends, welcome to the Python for Beginners course. My name is Admiral Ghost and uh, if you have watched my previous videos and have any queries or any problems regarding this course, you can reach me out on this email address admiralghost at the rate gmail.com. You can also comment in the comments box below. And uh, in this video, we are going to talk of lists. So what are lists in python? Basically pi python lists contain a list of objects such as string, integer or float values. So it is simply a list of objects which can contain string, integer or float values. It can also contain other data type objects as well but uh, we haven't gone through with them. So I just mentioned string, float or integer. Actually a list can contain a list of objects and uh, these objects could be any object whether it's string, integer, float, set, uh, even a list. We can also have a list inside another list. So that's why this term objects is used. Now. It is a bit similar to arrays and if you have done programming in C or Java or uh, any other statically typed language then you might be aware of this term arrays. And what arrays are they are simply a continuous memory locations where the data is stored. That means we have an array and in that array we have uh, values stored in a continuous manner in a memory or you can say sequentially and in an array we can store only one type of value that means if it's a integer array then we can only store integer inside it and uh, any other data type values will be not acceptable and that's how python list differs from arrays so they are bit like arrays but still different and different because they can contain even heterogeneous objects that means a list may contain integer float or string values simultaneously in a single list in an array we can only have a similar type of objects but in a string sorry in lists we have multiple type of objects in a single list so let me show you with an example what do i mean to say so in python we define list in this way so we have defined a list and uh, this list is l and this list contain these three va values 1, 2 and 3. So these square brackets these are used to define a list and these are the elements 1, 2, 3 inside the list. And uh, if you have noticed 1, 2, 3 these all are integer values. So if we type in L we see these all are integer type values and uh, it's similar to arrays but if we want we can also store float values in it and uh, strings as well without any problems. So if we see we have this list and this contains integers, float values and string all together. That means we can store anything we want in a list and there will be no problem at all and uh, this is how it differs from it differs from your array so in this list we have a string and an integer value and still it's acceptable now coming to string operations list operations are uh, same in uh, in a manner to string operations and uh, as you see we can simply concatenate to, to list just like we did 
for strings we we can concatenate two strings and we can also concatenate two list as well we can even multiply a list with the, an integer and this will rep replicate the list so let me show you how let's say we have two list one containing values from 1 to 3 list b contains let's say 4 5 now if we do the addition then it will concatenate and uh, produce a new list with these three elements of a concatenated with these two elements of b and if we multiply a with 3 it will replicate this list three times so we have one two three three times so one two three then one two three and then one two three so we have this list three times and if we do it for b we'll have four five this is the first time this is the second time and uh, this is the third time so next operation is indexing which is similar to strings we can also index list as well so if we find if we want to find out the zeroth element of uh, this uh, array list a then we can refer to it as a0 and it will be 1 here you can see so the first element is 1 here second is 2 third is 3 so if we type in a2 the value at the second index which is this 3 as you know index starts from 0 so 0 1 2 so the second index is containing this value 3 now we can also refer to list from ending as well and we do it by using the minus sign as we did it for strings so if we put in a minus 2 it prints out 2 and that's because in this list if we go from the end side to the starting we have my 3 at minus 1 location 2 at minus 2 location so if we type in a minus 1 it will print out 3 here you see next is slicing so as we did it for strings we can also do slicing for list so if you see the list contains values 1 2 3 and uh, if we do one colon and this way that means print out all the elements of the list starting from the index 1 and ending at and we actually in this case we haven't defined where to end so it will print out all the values so if we do it in this way then it will do it will do is it will first take the zeroth index value which is 1 and then it will go and print in the values up to this index omitting the second index that means it will start from the zeroth index and will go to index 1 and print out everything so we we have 1 or 2 and 2 is not included because this is the value which is not included so if we go from uh, 1 to 2 then it will print out only 2 and that's because we just started from 1 and ended at 1 also next is this length and uh, what this does is simply gives you the length of the list so this is a built-in library function in python and it is used to determine 
the length of the list so if we put in len a we get 3 because there were 3 elements in the list and if we try to find the length of b it is 2 because there are only 2 elements these 4 and 5 inside this list so that's it for this video i hope you like it and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel admiral ghost see you in the next video